So, um, I have a bit of a problem. Yes, Amina. Well, I don't know how to say this, but it's kind of about my hijab. Look, that's fine. Please feel free to talk to me. Well, I've just been having these doubts and I feel like it's getting harder to wear the hijab every day. It's not like I want to take it off or anything. It's just getting more difficult. You know what, I can really understand that, Amina. When, when did those thoughts start happening to you? Well, really only recently I've been getting these thoughts about six months ago and they've just been building up. Yeah. I'm feeling more self-conscious and or maybe I'm just over-exaggerating. It's just been getting tough. SubhanAllah, you know what, I can really understand what you must be going through. I, I really do believe that it's, it must be a real challenge, especially for the youth right now. In this time we live in, there's just so much pressure on us to look our best, you know, to have the best image. And I mean, everybody ultimately wants to look their best, right? And I actually wanted to ask you, um, if you don't mind me asking that, you know, what does hijab mean to you? Well, from what I know, it's an item of clothing that Allah has taught us women to wear in the Qur'an. Basically, to cover our hair. Look, you're so right. But I just want to explain to you as well that hijab is actually so much more than that. You know, the hijab is actually a, a sign of your submission to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's commands. At the same time, it's a symbol of your devotion to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yeah, well, what if I'm not that devout? Wouldn't that just make me a hypocrite? I wouldn't want to be walking around like I don't have flaws because I'm not perfect. SubhanAllah, Amina, who hasn't got flaws and, you know, who is perfect? I mean, we've all got flaws, right? But the hijab actually shows that you're someone who's really trying. You know, you're trying to gain the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by implementing what he's commanded from modesty. Well, can't I still be modest even without my hijab? Yeah, of course, you can still be modest. But then how do you define modesty, see? I mean, like, as Muslims, obviously, we look at how does Allah Ta'ala define modesty, right? And um, just to be clear, modesty is a lot more than just the clothing we wear, you know? It's, it's the way we conduct ourselves. It's, it's the behavior, you know, that we adopt when we interact with others. Does that make sense? It's a lot more than just clothing. Yeah, it does, but it's, it's just so overwhelming. It's just becoming difficult. Look, you know what? I totally understand. And I think it's also important that we look at other factors that you can maybe focus on to help you, you know, consider the friends that you hang around. You know what I mean? Like try to find friends that are supportive of you wearing hijab and that encourage you and remind you of your purpose in this life, right? And as well as that, I always recommend people try to attend Islamic lessons. I think they really nourish your iman and support you and, you know, help you in your journey with hijab. Um, but look, there's one really important point that I wanted to just, you know, raise with you. And that is, are you on a lot of social media by any chance? Yeah, well, to be honest, I do use social media quite a lot. Yeah, see, like, that's what I would probably advise you, that you may need to limit that because while you're scrolling through your Instagram or whatever platform you happen to be using, you don't realise how it's subconsciously really impacting on the way, you know, you view beauty, for example, or even the way you view yourself. And you know what, Amina? I've actually got this book here and I'm really thinking this could be really helpful for you. You know, this is a book that's about the women around the messenger. And when you think about it, they are the role models we should be seeking, right? Thank you so much for the book. I mean... This genuinely means a lot to me. Thank you so much. You know what, I mean, you're so welcome. But look, I just want you to understand that the hijab is actually going to be a lifelong pursuit. You are going to be tested with this hijab. That's the reality. But we are going to get the greatest reward for what we go through for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, inshallah. I really ask Allah ta'ala to keep you strong, inshallah. And I just want you to know that I'm always here for you whenever you want to speak. This really means a lot to me. Thank you so much, Sheikha. You're more than welcome, Amina, anytime, inshallah. Did you know that every single time someone watches our videos, you could be earning the rewards? To get in on this opportunity, just click on the donation link and share in the Sadaqah Jariah.